Okay, we're in Boston, and I'm here with uh, Foti, who's got a malignant tumor phone stuck to his hair. And Adi at Auto Palicario, though, really good guys. Got in last night, the boys picked me up with Greek Boston, and they're good boys. We're having fun. Uh, it's been Paul from uh, Kane's Donuts, man. Uh, I'm going to make love to Paul later because those donuts were fantastic. Very and <coughs> we're, we went to the Arlington Diner. I uh, actually went to the Aegean restaurant last night in uh, Stillwater. What was it called? Watertown. Watertown. <laughs> the food is excellent. And now we're in, where are we now? We're in Sophia's Greek Sophia's, no, <clears throat> I'm in the area. Oh, we're in Belmont. We're in Belmont. And we're going to go see Sophia. This is the nice lady. Sophia at Sophia's shop. Beautiful atmosphere. Look, everybody's happy. This lady's happy. I've heard about this yogurt for years. I finally You know what? Greek yogurt. This is a beautiful no, store. This is homemade yogurt. Homemade yogurt. That's a difference. Yeah, so did it. Sophia, double S. Exactly. Sigma to Sigma. What are we going to Sigma to Sigma. Okay. How's it going, Sophia? Good, good. Tiri, which means um, peasant cheese or dung cheese, but it's really good. <laughs> you know, we got a Vlachotiri. Hey, listen. Yes. You had it gone. What's that? Okay, so we're talking about smart Vlacho cheese. Our Kalamata olives. Don't ever let. If you have a Greek salad, here's a tip from Angela Tsaroukas. <laughs> If you're invited for Greek salad, these are the olives, man. Don't let anybody tell you any different. If they if they try to sell you on these cheap, fake Italian substitute olives, or olives from California, pesos tocacotus toquero. These are the olives you're supposed to have in a Greek salad. Kalamata olives, man. The best. I can live right here. Uh, uh, olive oil and olives, man. Give me a big loaf of somi. And I can live right here at Sophia's. I mean, I don't want to brag about my DVD, but damn, it looks a nice DVD, isn't it? Look at this. It's my nice DVD. Still hungry. <laughs> the seller, the top fetalist. <laughs> These are my new adoptive parents, Sophia and Sotiri. Look at it. Tell them I'm in a dosto magazine. Tony's saying, <clears throat> they're not here now. Uh, Fortinati, good guys. They run a nice website. They believe in the whole Hellenic cultural idea. We've been talking for a long time. I know the boys have worked hard and they've uh, done a good job to um, to put the event out and try to build up the brand for it. So get on them. They uh, I was really impressed by their website and uh, Worldwide Greeks and uh, Greek Boston and all that kind of stuff. And the people seem to really like them. Talking to Lee here, uh, who's a wonderful man. He runs the uh, Maliotti Center. Yes, and I, I found an interesting fact about him. He's half Scottish, half Greek. He's a guy you don't want to screw with. It's like Braveheart, Critico style. <laughs> so, you know, it should be Manolis, the, the barbarian. I want to thank everybody for coming. Angelo's a great guy. We hung out with him all day. Uh, he's not that funny, but what can you do? Um, but we want to thank everybody for, for supporting this and for coming out to these Greek events. I want to thank Fadi for organizing everything. And everybody, Angelo Tsaroukas. Parking your cars in the lawn. What's going on with that? Uh, How about a round of applause for 14 and I? They're uh, really nice guys. If you can lower the lights, that would be nice a bit because I can see everybody, they can all see me, and I, I don't because better so I see you. Um, it's better this way. I, it's my first time doing, getting a chance to come to your nice city, Boston, and it reminds me a lot of where I'm from. And the ad of the same, <clears throat> I grew up in a city that you probably hate if you're a hockey fan, Montreal. <laughs> yes. And uh, I got to come to Boston, I got to talk to Adi and Forti from Greek Boston. Give those guys a round of applause, they're really good guys. And it's nice to meet young Greek gay couples. <laughs> and I support them, I'm behind them, I mean with them all the way, honestly. <laughs> And uh, we have to have an open mind about these things. <laughs> this poor girl in the front row, she's looking at me like, I hope he doesn't lose his balance. <laughs> they came over, and then this is the best part. My parents come to Canada. You know, they get married, you know, they, then they decide to have children. 
And then they asked themselves, hey, how can we make our little Greek children fit in with all the other children? I know. We'll name them like diseases. <laughs> so when you're at Tsarukas, what do you think of Tsarukas? You got Tsarukas. <laughs> Put some cream on it or something. <laughs> you have a Silicacopopolis? Look like yes, you know what I mean? Greeks. Okay, you're not the chosen people. <laughs> you know, that always freaked me out about Greeks. My dad, when he had the restaurant in Canada, would say, Kithelioxenos. <laughs> there are 33 million people in Canada. There are 500,000 Greeks. They're the Xeni. We own Canada. We own America. I'm an Arabic country. The guy's name's Mohammed. You know, I will give me a uh, the Sulaki dinner with the fries. Mohammed turns out the cook, and in perfect Greek, he goes, "Fiaxena Sulaki matatis yuto kodrone bosta." So, fix some food for the churchmen. Fix some food for the backpack. So I look at Mohammed. I go, Are you Greek? You speak Greek? And Mohammed now busted. So this thing goes, I'm just getting busted with a face changer. You Greek? Yeah. You speak Greek? Yeah. Where are you from? Canada. Now even if there's no one around, when Greeks want to tell a joke, they do this. Your name is not Mohammed or Michalis. You know what I mean? Whoa, it's nine o'clock. I did an hour and a half already. Wow. Seems like nothing, doesn't it? See when you're having a good time? Nothing. Usually, yeah, usually Greeks will sit in the back and go, Tadios, you're not like it. Greeks is like I'm playing. Man, that's fine, you know, I like it. Right here. That goes on. Dude, that is that this joke, man. Yeah, no big deal, man. I love the cynics. My deal thinks I work for the CIA. He's one of those big guys. What do you, what do you do? What's, what's this job you're doing? <laughs> I go, what? You think you, you try to tell me you go around the world, you tell them jokes and you <laughs> Yeah. This is bullshit. <laughs> you think I was born tonight, last night, man? <laughs> no, I didn't think you were born tonight, last night, Theo. I know what you work for the CIA. <laughs> Because you know, Greeks, we don't believe in conspiracy. <laughs> <clears throat> I remember going to Greece. Or, you know what I like? I like, I, like the Greek, I like the Greek kids from Greece. They're little shits. <laughs> we're always careful about how we talk, right? We're, we're, we're very polite. We don't use a lot of profanity. We try to be good. You ever go to Greece? You ever see these little scatopa out there? <laughs> these kids are spawned from Satan, man. <clears throat> Little oh, six years old, man. <laughs> and I'll never forget in, in Daphne. I was in Daphne, and we, I went with my cousins. We went to this other metropolitan horio called Lavetsova, Croquets. <laughs> and we took a taxi to Lavetsova, <laughs> and we got off the taxi. So we got out in the Pesodromio on the side street, and there's this Greek kid sitting there. He's got a bottle of Heineken. He's got a cigarette. And you know, like, he's on the chair, leaned up against the wall, jacked up with the Greek kid, the leisure. And I'm walking down the street. And he looks at me and he goes, Psst, Phila. And I turn around and he goes, Vieta. I'll share this one with you guys because it's been a really nice crowd. 
my friends, my uh, English friends love listening to Greek music. Greek music's beautiful. What they don't understand about Greek music is that although the music is so sweet, the lyrics are sour as shit. So when you really break up Greek music, man, it's like country western music spun backwards with Marilyn Manson, isn't it? And my friend, we're driving in the car, and this happened. The song came on, and I had to explain it to my friend. <laughs> Remember the song? Everyone's that's a real nice song. What's the guy saying? Uh, the cigarettes, the booze, and the late nights have screwed up a lot of Greek families. <laughs> it's, it's really? Yeah, that's what he's saying. No way, dude, I'm telling you. <laughs> and I played a little bit of Kara, Vasily Kara. <laughs> you love this one. Να πείτε γιατί τις μάθασε κύριε, πες τις πεθαίνω. Is that a real nice song? What's he saying? Um, when you see her, uh, give her my best regards, and by the way, tell the bitch I'm dying. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. No way, you're making it up. I'm not even making it up. And this one, kipo, po, po. That's really nice. What's he saying? He's going, 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 going nuts. Nuts. Crazy. Finished. Look, all of us can become Greek singers. Everyone in this room can write a Greek song. It's easy. Take aspects of your life and make them backwards. <laughs> Just think of the way Greek thing. I can write a Greek song for you right now. Mafisei kinaka Sto spidi me to skilo Ke leg zero na pleno to sovrato Ke de ma irevo De ma irevo, de ma irevo De pentaro, de mu, de pentaro Thank you, Boston. That's my life.